Hello and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. Today I'd like to review two closed trades, one winner and one loser. Two currently open trades, one winner, one loser. And the five or six new singles that I just received this morning on buying and shorting the stock market. All these trades are using the three indicator strategy that uses the MACD, the RSI, and the stochastic RSI. I hope you follow along, regardless what indicator you use, perhaps maybe you should be thinking about whether your system is getting the same singles as mine, and what are you going to do about it? Uh, let's get started, but before we do, I want to remind everybody that the Stock Planner Channel is an education channel, and we do our own due diligence. Nobody's recommending anything, because the, you can't really follow somebody else's trade system. You have to develop your own, learn it, test it, be familiar with it, and then you can win. We're swing traders, which means we don't have to be sitting in front of the terminal 24-7. Well, let's get started. I'm a little older, and I have a bunch of antiques and a little bit of clutter. But this is a nice living room. Simple is best, I'm coming to believe. Looking at stock ticker MDRX, All Scripts Healthcare Solutions, which is package software. I particularly like this company because it swings very nicely. My algo gave a single on the 25th of February to go long, right in there, right on time too. My algo is, is based on the RSI, the MACD, and the stochastic RSI. And this is shortly after earnings. And you can see it had a nice run up, and then it came back down. My strategy, I do options, and I want to stay in for the longer term. And this happens to expire after 45 trading days, which is 66 calendar days. My algo is set on trading days. And it gave me a 4% profit. And if I invested $1,000 in this, approximately $1,200 into this, I would have received $41. And that's based on the closeout of here. Now, we could have taken a closeout here and here. And what could you base that closeout on? And that is, the, you could base the closeout, see the little red dot down here? That's the MACD. Crossover there and a crossover here would have got you out as an option trader i'm interested in after 45 trading days or 60 calendar days if i'm still in the trade my options expire and i get to keep whatever premium i got collected on my credit spreads so my object is to stay in the trade longer and some of the other traders would be to be able to just capture this swing perfectly if you're buying the, the stock you would try to capture the swing perfectly and you could use the macd or the RSI will get you out as well. See, the RSI coming back around, that'll get you out right there. Capturing the tops and bottoms is nearly impossible. But that's what we do as a swing trader. So we enter here somewhere in this area. And exit somewhere in this area. It looks like a break even or just slightly down. And that's what this was. Lost $7 on the trade. And you were in the trade for 53 days. If you're an option trade and entered your trade as in the money... But I usually enter my trades slightly out of the money and let it move in. So this would have been a loser, but it could have been a winner. If you knew to exit in this area here, you would have caught that run up. And what would have told you to get out? Cross over there, the stochastic RSI coming back around, and an RSI and an RSI there would have said, hey, start thinking about it. So it depends on how you trade this, and you're watching closely, you could get out of this trade. Your entry was good. Well, you win some and you lose some. An expert player could have uh, had a winner here if he knew when to get out. British American Tobacco, ticker BTI, is a vice stock. I've had great luck with it. It swings quite nicely and it's predictable. We open a trade at uh, 3.9 based on the MACD below the zero line. The stochastic coming around and it's oversold and coming back. And the RSI and it's oversold coming back. When all three of those occur, that's the three indicator strategy. And we take a buy. And we had a nice run up. Close this trade in this area here. Now, the secret to this is you should be scaling in all along there. And this would have been a nice, nice profit. But how do I know when to scale in? Well, I, I have an algorithm. And if they still get the buy single, which you have, you're getting buy singles. I keep adding up to seven times. 
I have an algorithm that does that. Let me show you. I have a free Discord chat that has some of these singles here. And I also have a $4 level, paid level, with the three indicator strategy using some of the, the singles that I use. And it shows each day the trades for that day. And okay, we're going to go to 3.9. 3.9, BTI is a buy. And then it scaled in some of my other trades. Told you the entry price and the open trades. The next day, it has scale in and also the following day. And here we are on 5.5 five. BTI. We have 88 shares still active. This trade is still open. And if we look at a summary page of BTI, we can see that we have an open long. It's currently open. It's current date today. And by the way, this reports out on my Discord are produced every couple hours. It's my roadmap. I don't always follow the signal because for lots of reasons. You don't have money or don't have time or... But if you did follow a single and the scaling in, you'd be up 137, which is about nearly 4% profit in a month. Actually, that's two months. 42 trading days without weekends. Now, let's take a look at a loser. We'll look at Goldman Sachs. But before you do, just remember that if you need a roadmap or a trades list, there's one available. There's, there's one of these, not the exact same one, but there's one of these out of the free discord and also in the paid section well everybody's heard of goldman sachs it seems like they've been a downtrend and some leveling off short trade and it went down but now it seems like we have a an upward trend we have a crossover here rsi stochastic rsi and the rsi we all seem to be pointing up now but at the time here we had a macd stochastic recently and an RSI all within a few bars of each other and that with a down single seems like we got a little reversal here and we have a slightly losing trade now what do you do about that I mean do you do we react well if I am in a option play then it needs to stay below a certain point 60 days out I'm gonna probably stick in and just ride it out I only entered this trade at 422 it's about two weeks and 12 days and we're, but we're losing 2% if you were buying the stock, uh, shorting the stock outright. And it's probably around that same percentage with the, with the options. Anyway, it's losing trade and I'm not going to react to it. Got some time. Going out to our trades list and seeing what the latest entries singles are. And we see that we have AMD. Let's take a look at probably everybody's buying that. I did see a couple of videos that copper is still a buy. Facebook is short. Gold. I like that because I do think that um, that um, we're going to be in a recession. That might be a good buy. And selfie short. These are all singles that I'd like to take a look at. I just want to remind you, you need to do your own due diligence. This is a roadmap to help you make some decisions. And if you followed it, and if you could follow it, it would be profitable. But I don't know very few traders that can actually follow their trading system to a T. It's just not possible. There's too many variables, but you can try. Well, now we're in an Omni broker. This is what producing my back tested roadmaps, and this is how I can make some decisions. So, the first one we're going to look at is ACM. These are the singles for the day. Look, date of entry, it's around 10 30, and we can see that the last three days ACM has had some buy singles. Is it going up? It looks like it bounced over to off this 200 moving day and moving average. We had some momentum down. This is the RSI. Oh, excuse me. The MACD, stochastic, and the RSI. RSI, stochastic, and MACD. ACM looks like a good buy. This is my zigzag in Omni Broker. And it's still showing us a down. And this is my momentum indicator. That's showing a down too. So we're in a bear market. There's some enthusiasm. But in a bear market, what happens in a bear market? You get some enthusiasm, you get some buyers coming in, and then all of a sudden they pull out the rug from under you and it heads on down. A bear market is a slow grind down, so be careful. ACM, the next chart I'm going to switch out and turn these off. The next single is AMD. Now, everybody's buying into that. It's based on power and optimism. My system's showing it as short. Look at it. 
this downward trend ever since December of AM and V, the technology stocks it. Are we going to suddenly reverse or, or is tech in a down slide? The MACD is slightly above the zero line. That's when we can start looking for shorts. But I like it up here, by the way. It is a, It meets the requirement. The Castic RSI has come around and so has the RSI. That is a valid short. What you do with it, it's up to you. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to, I believe I'm going to take a short. Copper, my system is showing along. Will it bounce off the 200? We should. MACD is way below the zero line. We like it that way. The Gastic RSI was crossed over. It has crossed over for the last two days, but it's still a valid thing in the RSI. There is our longs. Looks like we're having a little problem today. It's up to you to decide whether that's a valid signal yet. What's happening with Facebook? Yeah, those ticks. MACD did cross over the zero line, but not by much. There's your stochastic RSI looking like it wants to come back around. And there's the RSI. It looked like it did come back around. I like Facebook for short. And then AMD for short. Let's do one more. Go for a long. MACD well below the zero line. Crossed over. Recent switch from oversold to, to buy for the stochastic. And the RSI crossed from its oversold and came back around. And now heading up north. Yeah, gold looks like a buy. When you're trading, you have winners and losers. For the last 18 months, we've had some profit based on the three indicator strategy. But red means not so good, and you wouldn't have no profit today for these last first. And green means good. Not everything's a winner in trading. Roadmap, Discord. There's a roadmap as well in the free side. It's the same three indicator strategy, but with some less less tickers. And you get less single because there's less money in that test. So check it out. But also, never follow somebody else's strategy. Always develop your own. Use this as a way of, of testing out your own strategy and looking at your own strategy. See if you're getting the same singles. And then following your system. Doing some paper trading. Do your own due diligence and win. Let's trade together. Leave your comments below. My settings for trading view are in the description. And follow for more. Happy trading. Like what you're doing. I do. And my trading has gotten better since I started doing these videos. By the way, this is Region Financial. I love it. Nice swings. And there's a current short.